The last one on the list is Clementine. And mm-hmm. this is my favorite next to VLC. Okay. Like, there's a little heart on this one as well. Um, Aww. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'm thinking of actually using this as um, my For music player. Yeah. Like, I'm thinking of actually using this as my music player. Um, because, like, it integrates with everything. Uh, like, like on the side. Oh, this is a... It, it's a fork, by the way. It's, it's a fork of Amarok. Or, uh, mm-hmm. or like a port or something. Um, and it doesn't look that bad. So, like, it, it's got, um, <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> That's true, but well, <laughs> yeah, it's 2015, and um, I actually really do. You I sorry, mm-hmm. I really do appreciate um, Amarok, and if yeah, we're uh, not saying don't use it. Uh, we're saying doesn't look good, but you know, very functional. <laughs> yeah, and um, if if I actually had the time, I'd probably be on a KDE desktop, like <laughs> both of us. Like I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> like if you know, um, but, but, but like Clementine though is uh, a port or a fork of Amarok, so it's got that functionality and it extends the functionality. Um, it integrates with everything. Like on the left, uh, you have a menu or whatever you call it, the thing on the left that has a list of mm-hmm. yeah, you know, like 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 on on YouTube when you have that thing on the left that has home blah 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 blah. it looks kind of like that and um you can uh you can integrate it with your spotify account with groove shark with icecast with google drive um what else is on there soundcloud like wherever you can possibly have any sort of audio or online radio um you can sort of integrate it into your clementine player so um mm-hmm. so not only as a not only as a podcatcher, but like as a general music player, radio, online streaming thing. Yeah, <coughs> um, you can. Uh, it, it has it has really good search functionality. Again, uh, you can search the G Potter database. So so that's that, that's pretty much uh-huh. what G Potter is, right? Like, um, it's. Uh, G Potter, you know, anyway. grab stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it grabs things. It grabs things, but it also maintains a database of podcasts. So, f- uh, bless you. So, for the people that don't want to be on the iTunes Store, an alternative to that is the G Potter database. And so, mm-hmm. um, Clementine, when you search for a podcast, searches through G Potter and iTunes. And it also has, for whatever reason, a link to BBC podcasts. Eh. Eh. You know, <laughs> informative. Um, so that's good. But my problem with it, and like the only problem that I can find with Clementine as a podcatcher, is um, there isn't an obvious way to add a podcast. By typing in the RSS feed, <laughs> so so basically it's the reverse of it's it's the reverse of my uh, problem with Amarok and VLC. Uh-huh. Like Amarok and VLC, as far as I know, you have to type in your RSS feed to be able to um, subscribe to the podcast. With Clementine, it isn't uh, it isn't blatantly obvious. Like there isn't a button that does it. You have to right click. Mm-hmm. So it's an yeah. extra step, but a simple extra step. Yeah, yeah. It's not gonna ruin your world, but you know. Yeah, I mean, th- th- I guess that's how much I like Clementine. Like, like my biggest criticism is that I have to right click. Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your recommendation, or your personal preference, at least. Yeah, yeah, that's my personal preference. Uh, when it comes, but your to recommendation me. would be. Uh, Clementine or VLC? 
okay. Uh, VL- Clementine yeah. if you're a hardcore user. Oh, VLC uh, if you're a hardcore user. Uh-huh. Clementine if you want to have fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, VLC if you're a hardcore user and Clementine if you're kind of new. Okay. But th- like th- that's the thing about Clementine, dude. It, it, it like balances... Um, it balances, you know, looking looking pretty good with the functionality that you sort of expect from a music player and a bit more, mm-hmm. right? Like, um, it's better than iTunes. 